Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1991 Snow Serpent version 2. This is something we don't look at enough on this channel, and that is G.I. Joe toys from the 1990s. This second version of the Cobra Snow Trooper is quite a departure from version 1 of the Snow Serpent in pretty much every way. This figure has an absurd number of accessories. It has so many accessories, I really need to look at them first so I can get them out of the way and look at the figure. Snow Snow Serpent version 2 includes two white guns, each of which is connected by a black hose to the large purple backpack. The purple backpack which also stores the purple snowboard. The snowboard is removable, it clasps in, and there is some decent detail on the backpack. We will look at that snowboard in just a moment. Attached to the backpack is a purple missile launcher with a white missile that is removable. You can detach it carefully. So so you don't break the handle, uh, but it is a spring-loaded missile launcher, so you can fire it by pressing down on this scope here in the back, and it will fire the missile. Lastly, let's look at that snowboard. The snowboard is purple. It has a snake head and snake skin details. It is nicely detailed. I'll give them that. It's flat on the bottom with the exception of these fangs. That's a nice touch. It has spaces for the figure's feet and a foot peg, so the figure can be pegged on there. Because of the placement of the foot peg, there really is only one way to fit the figure on. But once the figure is on, you can use the snowboard as an alternative to a figure stand. Looking at the Snow Serpent version 2 action figure. Gone is the subtle gray of the version 1 figure. Instead we have a color that is not quite white. It's more of a cream color and yellow and purple for synergy with the accessories. And we have red and brown and black. There are a lot of colors on this figure. Unfortunately, one of those colors is yellow. If you're going to have a snow trooper with a yellow uniform, that's going to cause some sniggers no matter what. I have the full card back for Snow Serpent version 2, which is wickety cool. We can see the full artwork on the front, and this thing included so many accessories it needed instructions. On the back, we have the file card, and even though this is a 90s figure, it does not have the 90s style rectangular file card. They're still using the 80s style file folder shaped file card. That was my brief look at Snow Serpent version 2. I will eventually do a full review on this figure in which I look at the history, the details, and the context of the figure because that's what I do. This was just a quick look at it though. Please watch this channel for vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I have a large back catalog of reviews and I have more coming. Please support the channel on Patreon if you want to help me continue doing these videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.